hello hello islanders and global viewers welcome back to my channel those of you who have been watching for a while thank you so much for your support and you who are first timers thank you so much for coming on to see what we're going on with on island muchacha i do hope you'll enjoy our recipe today and that you'll be able to like share and subscribe thank you today we'll be making sweet and sour chicken sweet and sour chicken we're making today and these are our ingredients we have here. We have some deboned thighs here, actually eight deboned thighs, washed and trimmed for any excess fat. And we have here our ketchup, our tomato ketchup, which will be used to make that sauce. We have our soy sauce. We have some black pepper. Uh, turmeric. This turmeric will be used to add a little color, a little yellowish color. Some persons use food coloring, but we've chosen to use turmeric. Paprika, also to give that reddish color behind the yellow. Then we have some cornstarch. Cornstarch will be used on the chicken to kind of just coat it before we fry it, and a little bit will be used in the sauce as well. Okay on the table here we also have some yellow bell pepper green and red of course you can use whichever colors you have whether the red and the green or the yellow and the green whichever combination of the bell peppers that you have you may use so we just want to pat dry this chicken so that we don't have much liquid running on the board and that's why I have an extra board on top of the other one because I just want to keep the chicken on the top board and I remove it to cut up the veggies. All right, here we go. Remember we're cutting these into bite-sized pieces. That's right. As I mentioned, these thighs are already washed, fully deboned and trimmed for excess fat. Of course, you'll have a little fat left on it, but we trim the excess. Okay, the chicken is fully cut up now. We're gonna just go ahead and add the salt to taste. I'm going to add just about a half a teaspoon of salt, and you may add to taste usually. All right, there we go, half a teaspoon. And the black pepper, that's all we're gonna add at this stage. Just adding like about a teaspoon of black pepper. All right. And then we're gonna mix this up. Okay, now I'm gonna add some of this turmeric here. I told you it's just about a teaspoon. A little of the paprika also. I'm gonna combine some of this paprika in the sauce. We put just about half a teaspoon in this one now. Right, and mix it all in, combine it. Now certain you can mix with your hands, just as is, or you can use a spoon or a spatula or whatever to mix it in. But today I am wearing my gloves because I'm not so much in the mood to get all this color up on my hands. So I'm just gonna mix it in like this. All that seasoning is all mixed in now. I'm gonna just set this aside, cover it for just about 20 minutes while I prepare the other seasoning. When I come back, I'll be just adding this, the cornstarch to it. You could also use flour with a little baking powder in it, but I'm opting to use cornstarch uh, to fry it. So that will help to give it that amount of crispiness that we really need, and that's it. So heading right on over to the seasoning now, setting this aside. All right, first we're cutting up the yellow. And this time we're not going to cut them as small as when we're putting them in some of the meats. We're just gonna ensure that we make them in some fairly large chunks. Cause that's 
the way we do it when you do it for the sweet and sour. So, we're cutting it big, like I said, because you want to see these chunks coming out in your sweet and so you don't want to make them smaller than that. That's a good measure. When you cut one sweet pepper in four pieces, each peg you can cut in three parts. One, cut two, and then you have three parts. All right, there we are now. Okay, all our peppers are ready. Never mind, they're all mixed up. They're going to the same place. Don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, look at that kaleidoscope of colors. Red, gold, and green. Red, gold, and green. Gets me every time. I just love seeing these colors. Yes, that's it. Set that aside. Okay, here we are now. We're just going to make our sweet and sour sauce from scratch. You can purchase some sweet and sour sauce if you like, but we are making it from scratch. All right, here we go. We're gonna just uh, pour up the black sauce first, the Chinese sauce. Then we wanna go in with the ketchup. That sauce, by the way, is just about a tablespoon of soy sauce. Four tablespoons of ketchup. This is the point we're gonna add the rest of our turmeric. So this is the point we're gonna add the rest of our paprika, sorry. Yeah. And we're adding our turmeric, the rest of it, because we added some to the chicken. So we just have a little adding now. Combine that a little, then we're gonna add in our cornstarch as well. Cornstarch simply gives some body to your sauce. You know that nice thick look that the sauce tends to have. It's from a cornstarch. Okay, so we're adding a tablespoon of cornstarch in here. Now you want to be mixing this until it's all smooth. That cornstarch should dissolve fully into this rest of the mixture. See that? It's fully dissolved now. It's looking smooth. All right. So that's all sweet and sour so, so far. One thing that was missing from the main table at the intro is the vinegar. You can't see the vinegar in this so easily, but it's just about a tablespoon of vinegar. White vinegar. Mix that in. You could add this sugar here, but we're gonna wait until a little later. And there you go, that's your sauce. It's ready to go now. All right, gonna set this aside once again. Get these other things out of the way. And go back to the chicken. Now it's been about 20 minutes. It should be ready. Now I'll finish marinating over there. All right, this has marinated for 20 minutes, like I said. Now we're going to just add the corn starch. All right, just a, this is just about a tablespoon, by the way. You want it to coat all of it. So you're gonna mix it around until everything is coated. I mentioned earlier that you could use flour with a little baking powder added in it if you like. But we're using the corn starch. Adding the rest of it now. Good. We just mix this all in until it's evenly covered. Right. I didn't use my gloves this time because I don't want the gloves to be taking up all of the cornstarch. I just prefer to use a spoon this time. All right, that's it. I'm ready for frying now. Okay, here we have a preheated saucepan with oil just about a quarter cup of oil we have here okay 
you use vegetable oil you want the oil to be hot when you're doing this not overly hot like smoking hot but hot enough all right Putting them in piece by piece. I don't want them all sticking together, so we're separating them. Let it fry. Good. Lovely. So, like we said, we added that cornstarch to give it a little crisp, crispiness to it. That's the purpose of it. We are having some guests this evening for dinner, by the way, so I made a little more than I would have. This will serve, I'm sure, easily four to six persons. I use the eight thighs. Okay, all in now. I'm going to leave that for just about to five to seven minutes you check on it and see if they're ready to just move them around a little bit in that oil ensure that it's fried on all sides okay let's see what's happening here now if they're ready oh yes they're ready to turn over getting crispy all on that side and because we have used enough oil it's very easy to just pin them around like that and they're feeling so tender on the fork, I can tell you. Chicken thighs are basically very, very tender. Uh -huh. But if you like, you could always use the breast. Suppose you're someone who really prefers the breast. You can use the breast. Oh yes, they're all getting nice and crispy and brown. Lovely. Fabulous, fabulous. Okay, good. Sure, all angles on these are covered at this point. Yeah. Uh -huh. Look at that color, you see that nice, lovely color it has because we added a bit of turmeric to it. And paprika also gives a good, good color as well. See how brown those are? Yes. Nice and brown. Look at that, look at that. You see the way they're moving around nicely? They are so crisp now. Giving them another minute so that they hold up in the sauce. Just another minute and then we'll just remove them. Wow, here we go. Ooh. Ready to remove these. Good. Wow. Look at that color, guys. It's just popping. 
beautiful 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 Now we're gonna go right ahead and make her sauce in a separate pan in a wok. We're gonna do this in a wok. Now here we are ready for making the sauce and combining it with our chicken. So we're gonna use a tablespoon of that same oil. Okay, here we have it at just a tablespoon of oil in this wok. Yes, it's gonna make sure it's quite hot. Then you're gonna Add these sweet peppers now. Just turn them around for just about a minute. Just turn them around like that. I would keep first turning them around. You want them to just be nice and certified, but you don't want them to get burnt on it of the end. Alright, now we're not. Alright, we're adding a little tablespoon of oh, garlic. Hot oh, garlic. Alright. That's it right there. Oh. This smells so good, guys. We should be up in here. Anyway, you're virtually here. It's time to add the pineapples now. Add in my sauce. Good. That's some. Good. Wow, can you see that sauce? Looking so nice and rich. Oh, yes. Alright guys, it's time to add in our chicken now. That's it. Spin it around until it's all coated in the sauce. I'm gonna get that sauce all over it. Wow. Mm, smells good, looks good, and I can bet you it tastes good too. Look at those colors. Awesome guys. All covered now. Let's spin this round for just about a three minutes or so in this sauce. The sauce can kind of penetrate the chicken. Yes, yes. Oh yes, everything is looking good now. Smelling good. You can see those pieces of pineapple coming through. Red, gold, and green bell peppers. Oh yes, we don't want to have this drying off because it's all ready now. Okay, at this point, I'm, I'm just going to taste this sauce a little bit and see if it's a little sweet. Oh wow, it's good. The ketchup is a little sweet, and I want to just add a little bit of sugar, a pinch of sugar over it. Because some person add like two tablespoons of sugar, I just add it. There's a pinch of sugar at the end here because that ketchup is kind of sweet, you know? So we just add just about a tablespoon of sugar now. So this sugar is kind of to taste. If you really like the sweet flavor, you can add a little more sugar. Here we go, we're ready now. Okay. So we're gonna be having this with some white rice. All right, guys? Here we go. All right, here we are. Looking and smelling so good. 
can see the pineapple chunks and the bell peppers. All right, we're gonna serve this up with some white rice now. All right, so we're adding some green onions just to sprinkle over it a little bit. A little bit of decor, not too much, just a little bit. And some sesame seeds. Awesome. Look at that, guys. Now, if you liked this recipe, you know what to do. Awesome. Hit that subscribe button. Chinese style sweet and sour chicken. Okay, guys, if you like this recipe, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, see you. Ciao.